welcome to Wonderland. It is a beautiful sunny afternoon and it's June. So, oh my goodness, sun in June is always a blessing here. We are going to have afternoon tea at the Conrad in the Orchid Room today. So come along with me and let's see what we get up to. We're in the orchard room right now, and I just wanted to show you my table. Very lovely. I've got my menu right here, and my beautiful teacup. Wow, a table for four. Doesn't happen very often. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to Wonderland. We are inside the orchard room at the Conrad St. James. I'm really looking forward to this tea. I've been waiting for a long time to finally get here. All right, so here at the or Orchard Room in the Conrad St. James Hotel, there you go, the Orchard Room. They have the Royal Afternoon Tea for 45 pounds. They have with a glass of Bollinger Champagne right now for 55, with a cocktail of your choice also for 55 pounds. There is an offer for Champagne Royal Afternoon Tea for two, including a bottle of, it says Alia Champagne, but right now they're substituting for Bollinger, which would probably be the best deal ever because it's 145 for two people and a bottle. Let's see, I've been given an afternoon tea menu for all the different kinds of teas. There's different herbal teas, green teas, white tea, oolong tea, and yeah, it looks good. I'm gonna go for Earl Grey. I love Earl Grey, it makes me happy. It's all good. And here's the royal tea. I have the menu now for my royal tea. And I'll just go through it really quick. We've got our finger sandwiches, oak smoked Scottish salmon with cream cheese and chive, Coronation chicken with baby Jim lettuce, Wilshire ham with cheddar and right royal pickle, truffled, uh -huh, truffle, truffled egg mayonnaise with watercress, looking forward to that, and a cucumber and white pepper with mint. I've had it with mint before and it is so delicious. And then we move on to our cakes and pastries. We have a gilded lemon and verbena meringue tart. Ooh, like lemon, very nice and a tart. Duke of Earl Grey tea infused chocolate and hazelnut uh, crown. Mm. English strawberry and Cotswold elderflower gin roulade. Ooh. And a black currant estate dairy yogurt show bun. They all sound beautiful. And then of course we get plain and fruit scones accompanied with a ah, lemon curd, strawberry compote and Devonshire clotted cream. Sounds like a perfect meal. I love it. I already love it. I haven't even tried anything, but I already love it. So this is promising to be a very good tea, I think. Service already has been very quick and efficient and very friendly here at the Orchard Room at the Conrad St. James. So I'm just getting my rabbit juice order right now. And instead of ordering a whole bottle of rabbit juice, which I chose not to do, surprise, surprise, I'm going to do the Royal Afternoon Tea with a glass, and it comes with a glass of Bollinger. And she said that that's only 10 pounds more, and if I want another glass, it's 10 pounds. So I think that is the way for me today, because a whole bottle of Bollinger is like 100 pounds. So this is it. Always have to ask. I'm, I'm hoping that it's freshly uncorked and it's delicious. I think it will be. It's Bollinger, right? I have my glass of Bollinger, and I'm looking forward to trying this. Nice and bubbly. So the only thing that lets me down is when I see a glass that's that full, because I'm thinking, I want it up to here if it's a glass of, of champagne, but 
they must be uh, told how far you can lift it up or fill it up. So here we are. I've got my Earl Grey tea here. It smells delightful. What kind of tea is your favorite? Definitely, I love an Earl Grey, especially for afternoon time. Can't beat it. Got my little strainer right there. Very nice, loose leaf tea. Here's my cute little teapot. And I've got a little bit of cream and I've got sugar way back there. So perfect. I'm going to enjoy this now. So delicious. I just like it plain. It's just perfect. I just read a lovely quote. There are few hours in life more agreeable than the hour dedicated to the ceremony known as afternoon tea. And that was known by Henry James, the novelist. How great is that? Absolutely. It is just so wonderful to take afternoon tea. So when you're in London or anywhere else in the UK, heck, anywhere in your home country, have your afternoon tea. It is worth it. It is just such a, just a lovely thing to do in the afternoon. Just received our savory selection and I'll go through them in just a moment. They look lovely though, everything looks nice and fresh. So my first sandwich is Wiltshire ham, cheddar, and good boy pickle. There he is. So the bread feels very fresh like it was just made for me. Several slices of ham and a good piece of cheddar. I'm drooling. Ooh. That is a very nice sandwich. Wow, the ham with the cheddar and then the sharpness of that pickle, it's perfect. Beautiful sandwich, cannot fault it at all. It's a lovely, lovely sandwich. I'm very, very, very happy with it. I think I will have some more bites of this, definitely. I just received the rest of what's supposed to be on my afternoon tea table. So down here, I've got my warm scones. You can see those got my sandwiches, but look at these desserts. Aren't they just glorious? Boy, am I looking forward to those. And you know, I am not a total sweet person, but my goodness, there's even some gold foil in this one. The lemon verbena one. Oh, just beautiful. All right. Well, I am going to enjoy my afternoon tea here. Very nice. And oh, I've got my I've got raspberry jam in this one, a lemon curd, and then my Devonshire clotted cream. So yay, yum, 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 yum. My next sandwich is coronation chicken with baby Jim lettuce. And this one is full, full, full. Look at that. Wow, this smells gorgeous. Oh, it smells very much like onions and garlic and oh my, <laughs> onions and garlic, oh my. Okay, bread, once again, very, very soft. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. There is lots of spring onion in this. This is probably the best coronation chicken I've ever had. It's beautiful. If you don't know what coronation chicken is, it is kind of an Indian spiced concoction with, with uh, chicken and onions and uh, different Indian spices. And it's a, a yellow colored, tandoori color. I don't know, but my gosh, I am a complete fan of Coronation Chicken now. This is amazing. Seriously, I would come here just for this. I would definitely come here for this sandwich. Wow, I'm salivating just to have another bite. It is that good. <sighs> Yay! <laughs> I think what made that coronation chicken different, there was definitely lots of onion and there was lots of coriander or cilantro in it. I've not had it with cilantro and holy wow, well, that's how you do a coronation chicken sandwich. From now on, that's how I want my coronation chicken. It was so good. It was so juicy and gorgeous and ugh, hands down, right on, right on. 
Next up is my cucumber with mint and white pepper. It doesn't look like there's cream cheese in this. I do see that there's butter on it, but oh, the mint with the cucumber smells so delicious. I'll show you what it looks like. There you go. I wonder if, yeah, it's just, it's just butter with slight, you know, really thinly cut uh, cucumber. So this one, I'm really missing like cream cheese with it because it was very uh, salty. I think they salted the cucumbers with it and um, the margarine, I think it's what's on it. It just kind of detracted from it. But I'll tell you, any place that has mint with their cucumbers is all right with me. Wh what is this? Oh, where did I pick this up? I, I don't know. It's, it's here today. What do you do? Can't take me anywhere. I did want to say that I am the only person in the restaurant. It's just me. I feel like a queen of the castle. So yes, it's just me. It is 1.25 on a Wednesday afternoon. I'm drinking my rabbit juice. It's not too shabby. And plus, glasses of Bollinger, 10 pounds. That's pretty good. It's very good. Yay! For my next sandwich, it is smoked salmon with cream cheese and chive. So this one looks heavily buttered as well. Not sure if you know this, but coming from America, we don't generally do this, but over here in the UK, they do a lot of margarine on their bread and then they put the fillings in. So the fillings don't seep through the bread, which makes sense. But for me, I'd rather just it to seep. What do you do? Yeah, it's just a preference. I, uh, it, it's just difference, right? Just different. So, I'm gonna try him. He smells lovely. The bread, once again, nice and soft. It looks like there's two layers of salmon, which is wonderful. It's beautiful. It's completely fresh and a perfect amount of smoke. I'm very happy. Very good afternoon tea so far. All right. So I saved what I thought would be the best for last, which is my truffled egg mayonnaise on white bread with watercress. I had to look down. Oh my gosh, it's still so pillowy. And you can really smell the truffle. So here we are, a very generous portion of egg mayonnaise. Looking forward to this. A lovely way to end it. Perfect. Just enough of the truffle to make you go, truffle? Yeah, it's lovely. So happy with that. The savories were lovely here at the Orchard Room in the Conrad St. James. Really loved it, but definitely that Coronation Chicken is insane. I ordered another one. So you can order. If you'd like another uh, sandwich, they'll bring one to you. They said, you know, don't go crazy, but how can you go crazy? when you've got all of this in front of you, right? A whole tea tower worth of goods. So that's nice to know because some places won't let you have another little sandwich if you want one, but most places will and I wanted to make sure to let you know they will do it here. Fill your boots. I think that's what they call it. Fill your boots, right? So I ordered another sandwich here, the Coronation Chicken. And because they do not prepare them in advance, the chef said, hey, just give her the whole sandwich. Look at this. Oh my word. Oh, that is so generous. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to eat some of these. I don't know where I'm going to put them, but oh, look at that. Three. Yeah. It's perfect. Oh, there it goes again. Oh my So we're going to begin what I like to call halftime. Scone time. I've got a beautiful scone here 
with a raisins in there and lots of nice glaze on top. Now, I have seen other afternoon teas where they say you can open up your scone, you don't have to use your knife. So, you know, I'm gonna do that. Ooh, very nice, very nice. That is a lovely scone. So, the lady that's taking care of me, she said when she first brought out my whole teas, tea stuff, they were warm. And the kitchen suggested that I eat it now. But you know I like it at half time. But yeah, very nice. Scone is very soft and pillowy inside. A lovely flavor. It's uh, the, a lemon curd's not as tart as what I've had the last tea that I had. So still really delicious. Lovely yellow color. And it's a more of it's more of a, a runny consistency which makes it very easy for spreading. But all in all, a very nice scone situation. Absolutely. What is a scone situation? I, I don't know. But apparently we're having one, but it's all good. So, welcome to halftime, like I said. Scone time. I have just, that's what I'm going to say. From now on, halftime, it's scone time. I tried the strawberry preserves think I prefer them to the lemon curd. It was a lovely strawberry, great consistency and not too sweet. It's very good. Oh, God. Where is that coming from today? I don't know. But yeah, the strawberry was very nice, so I think I would have that next time definitely. Because I am alone in my tea room, I'm going to do this. Oops. <laughs> Part of my crown fell off. Isn't this just lovely? Look at that. Oh. oh my goodness. Yum. This looks really beautiful. I'm looking forward to this. My little crown. See, I can do this. I'm alone, right? I'm here for you. Don't do this. I'm doing it so you don't have to. <laughs> this is now for my first sweet. It is a English strawberry. Cotswold Elderflower Gin. Little Roulade. Isn't that pretty? I just don't want to drop it. All right, so I'm gonna try this with a fork. Yes, because this is getting very messy and very silly. Okay, so I'm gonna try this right now. There's like a mousse inside and kind of a gelatin thing around it. it looks like this. Yeah, you can see that. It was a little strange. Like I said, it's kind of moussey type thing, but it almost tastes like if you've ever had jello with cream in it, it's kind of like that. This one wasn't my favorite, but I always look and see, oh, probably my least favorite, and then I start with that, and then I work my way up. So that's what I'm doing right now. So yeah, the roulade, meh. I'm going to continue on right now. This is the Black Current Estate and dairy show bun. This looks really sweet. It has a little Conrad Hilton thing on it. I'm going to eat its top. Mm. There's its dairy. And it looks, so the top of it, that show bun was really light and lovely. So a nice little cross section, I'll show you. And you can see the uh, black currant. So I'm gonna try this. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. mm. So the elder, or sorry, the black currants were incredibly tart. I think the cream's there to kind of mellow it out, but boy, did I take a big hit of that black currant. The show bun itself, it melted in your mouth, but still, this this really wasn't for me. That is, it's a lovely idea. I'm not terribly thrilled about uh, black currant, 
but I always have to try whatever's in front of me because it's implied if you go, no, nah, I don't like it, especially if you've never tried it. Or if you've tried it and maybe it'll be prepared a little different. So I always try what's given to me, at least one bite, right? You gotta do it. <laughs> So this is what I think is going to be the best. It's a gilded lemon and verbena tart. So it has little pieces of gold on it. Can you see that? Isn't that beautiful? So I'm looking forward to this one. She looks beautiful. Ooh, nice and lemony. So we'll see what she's like. I'm gonna take my fork to her and a nice knife. Okay, meringue was nice and stiff. Have a nice piece of gilded gold in my mouth. Try that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That's the star right there. That lemon verbena tart. Absolutely glorious. That is up there with some of my favorite desserts I've ever had. That lemon is so beautifully balanced. It's not too tart, it's not too sweet. There's like some kind of lemon mousse thing going on in there. The meringue, it just goes whoosh in your mouth. There's a little gilded gold, so that's always wonderful. But yes, that's the winner right there. This and the coronation chicken. Oh my gosh, so delicious, so delicious. And I just wanted to say, the lady that's taking care of me and looking after me. She is amazing. She has been back and forth to make sure that I'm taken care of and I really appreciate it. And I feel very comfortable here. I don't feel out of place, which is always nice. And yeah, perfect. My last dessert is called the Duke of Earl Grey Tea Infused Chocolate Crown. So here he is. Ha ha ha. And he looks like he has, he has some nuts there. Yeah, ooh, very, very chocolatey. So my crown has already fallen off and it looks like it's a very much a mousse type thing. So I will take my fork to it and try him out. Here's, meh, you can see, it's just a lovely piece of chocolate naughtiness. delicious. So let me tell you, we have a tie for first place. It is that chocolate crown and the gilded lemon. I don't know which I would choose over the other. This chocolate is so rich and beautiful, yet the crown itself is so not rich. It's just, it's a hint of chocolate, but it's not hard. You bite it and it just crumbles beautifully. Oh my gosh, lovely dessert. I am so incredibly, incredibly thrilled with ending on this dessert. Absolutely wonderful afternoon tea so far. I wanted to tell you, yes, I would definitely come back to the Conrad Hotel in St. James for their afternoon tea at the Orchard Room. It was lovely, food was fantastic, service, everything. So, you know, if you want a really nice afternoon tea, come here. I think you'll enjoy it too. I just received my afternoon tea bill at the Conrad London St. James for their royal tea. So afternoon tea uh, with my Earl Grey tea was 45 pounds. A glass of champagne was 10 pounds and my sparkling water was 550. They do add a service charge, which is completely well. And I wanted to shout out to Francisca, my waitress. She was wonderful today. She really took wonderful care of me. So my total was 68.06 for my afternoon tea. I think that was well worth it. Lovely day today. I really am spoiled because I am here absolutely alone and I've been able to be a little bit silly, you know. I, He's back again. But yes, great time, lovely service, food was fantastic. All of the savories were fresh and just made just for me. 
The uh, desserts were lovely. The scones were perfect. Yeah, atmosphere, very easy going. I uh, was able to make my reservations on an app called The Fork, and that is a UK app. And I've made several afternoon tea reservations on The Fork. Just search afternoon tea and put your London in there and put your dates and they'll tell you exactly where you can go and get your reservations. Very easy to take care of the fork. I'll put a link down there in my comments section. But thank you so much for watching today. Thank you for following me down in Wonderland once again for afternoon tea. Please like and subscribe and I really do enjoy making this content for you. So tell your friends because I want to keep doing this for you. So I'll see you next time in Wonderland. Bye-bye. So this is a Cotswold Strawberry Gin Roulade. With, yeah, with Elder... What is this?